In the meantime, football contact days kicked off across the area today and in Marshfield, which I visited tonight, they're trying to find the balance between preparing for a season while protecting their athletes from the pandemic that could cut it short. Contact days look a little different this year. It's not just like we got uh, 35 kids throwing footballs to each other, laughing and screaming across the field. You know, that's not happening. So there's a little bit of those things where you see a kid being a kid. Groups are being limited to just nine as the Tigers do their best to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. Everybody's trying to do the right thing so we can't get back into, into playing at, the, at, the, at some time. But, um, you know, I hope it happens and we got to just keep hoping for it. Trying to do the best we can to get our kids um, back on some property and then, you know, just to try to re-engage and um, get them back to the things that they love to do and why they, um, part of why they come to school. After months away with little physical contact, Gettle says it's great to be back, but the uncertainty of this upcoming season makes it hard to prepare. No, it's, it's very difficult because you don't have that, you don't have the, the hunger, I would say, inside of you for knowing the anticipation of the start because, you know, we didn't take any helmets down yet. We didn't you know, get pads set up. We don't have jerseys separated and we didn't throw away things yet. Uncertainty or not, it's encouraging to see high schoolers back on the field. We're going to do what we got to do to get prepared. And, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but at least we're out here. How's that?